Today, we're building an automated appointment reminder system that syncs with your appointments in Cal.com and sends text messages out using Twilio. And then the tool that we're using to connect it all together is N8N. So I'm gonna show you how this works and then we're gonna walk through a full tutorial on how to build this system from A to Z. All right, let's jump right in. So we are on our cal.com meeting link and we're gonna go ahead and walk through and book an appointment. Then, uh, yeah, let's just put in something simple for what is this meeting about? And we're going to add a phone number in there. Okay, then once we hit that, we hit confirm. Okay, so the way this N8N instance is set up, it sends us a message immediately when booking the appointment and then several reminders after booking the appointment leading up to it. And we're gonna dive into that further, but let's see that in action. So let's hop over to our message that, that just came in. So if we just, okay, let's look at that. Great, so confirm you're all set for your appointment with Zachary Phillips on Wednesday, April 30th at 1.30. And then there's that meeting link. So we've connected it to our Google Calendar as well as Google Meet. So we instantly generate a Google Meet link and we're putting that right in the text message so that your clients always know where the appointment is going to be. All right, and let's jump in further to see how to build this. So starting from square one here, we're going to want to set up our cal.com account. And how we do that is we go to app.cal.com. We're gonna to want to sign in with Google here. And then we're going to click our Google account to, to sign in. Continue. Select all the permissions so that you don't have to see this screen again. Then we're going to get to a screen with our event types where we establish our username. So we want to pick a unique username, uh, pick your full name and then uh, write in your full name and then add in your time zone. I'm gonna keep that as is, update, save, and then next step. Okay, so I want to connect my Google Calendar here and I'm gonna continue on that. That's good for that. And set as default for Google Meet. We, we wanna do, do that. Then set our availability. So that looks good right there, nine to five, Monday through Friday. Then we're gonna continue. Don't need to add any of that now. Finish, and that's it. So <clears throat> you're gonna have these default event types already set up in here, and that's all good. We're gonna do this entire uh, workflow based off of the 30 minute meeting here, and we can keep that, that 30 minute meeting as is pretty much. There's just a few things that we want to set up. So we're gonna go into the advanced settings and we want to, so in order to send text message reminders, we have to add a field in here that lets us get the phone number. So we want the phone number in here, we're going to put type in phone number, phone underscore number in identifier, and just copy and paste that all the way down to the next, next couple fields. And then we're gonna make sure this is required, yes. All right, so that's, that's looking good there. Add that in there. And that is good on that screen. Next thing is we have to add a webhook for this. So we have to create a new webhook. This is what allows us to connect cal.com to N8N. So we're gonna go ahead and click a new webhook, yes. And then 
just pause on this screen for now. Now we've got to go over and create our N8N instance so that we can create a webhook for this to send events from cal.com so that we know when new bookings are happening. Uh, yeah, so let's hop over there. We're over in our N8N instance now, and you can grab the resources from the resource hub in the description. Just sign in or make an account, find this video and grab those resources. So we're gonna be importing that file, the JSON into our N8N instance here. I'm gonna pull this up. Open that up there, okay. And this is the workflow we're gonna be working with today. Right off the bat, I'm just gonna rename this to automated text reminder and then set the workflow to active, got it, okay. Then we're gonna pop back to our cal.com at once we have this URL here. So we just created this webhook here and now we need to grab the production url just click to copy that we're going to pop back to our event type the 30 minute meeting and we're going to add a webhook there so i'm gonna just add a new webhook okay add in that url at the top and then once that's done so you can secure this a bit more by adding a secret there to prevent any unauthorized use of your, your webhook. I'm not gonna do that here because this isn't gonna exist after this video anyway. But yeah, feel free to do that. We're going to, uh, actually let's hit a ping on this just to test it. So we're gonna ping test that. Okay, we got a status 200 there and we can pop back to our N8N instance to see uh, that that came through. So it did, and it didn't do anything because it didn't have an event that is one of the events that we're looking for, but it did succeed, so that means it's connected. All right, so then we're going to hit create webhook. That's all set there. Let's pop back to N8N and start walking through these nodes to show you what we've got going on here. We're back on our N8N instance and the best way to see these, see these workflows is to see them in action and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're going to hop over to our meeting link and go ahead and schedule an appointment. Okay, so we're gonna schedule an appointment here. Let's pop our information in, just doesn't really matter what we put in there. Confirm. Okay, now that, since we set up that webhook link, is going to send an event to our N8N, which we're going to see in our executions. Okay, there's that execution coming through there. And what we're going to do is copy that into our editor so we can walk through it and see how it looks. So we hit this copy to editor button here and that pins that data in there so that we can see and walk through each step of what's happening. So let's... So this first node here is a switch node. It has a couple different logic steps that do different things based on the event that's coming in. So this event that just came in was a booking created event. And that mean when it matches that first node here, so when it's a booking created event, it matches that first logic gate there and that travels up this path to the second node or third node, which is the Google Sheets. So what happens there is the information from the webhook is stored in Google Sheets. And I'm gonna show you in a separate video how to set up your Google credentials there. But assuming you have those set up, you can find your N8N appointment sheet, which 
grab that from the resources, add it to your Google Drive, and you should be able to find it in this list. So you pop down in this list, click N8N an appointment sheet, make sure it is sheet one, and then you will have all of these values pre-populated so you won't have to touch it. And that, what that does is stores the information coming in from cal.com in the Google Sheet when the appointment's created. Next node here is the Twilio node. So the Twilio node, uh, again, uh, I'm gonna show you in another video how to set up this, uh, your Twilio account credentials, but assuming you have those set up now, you need to add a from number in there. So a, a Twilio from number to be able to send this text messages. If you're in the US, you have to make sure it is set up with a messaging service. And then you can start sending messages through it. This two node is already set up for you so that you can send the message to the number that came in from cal.com. And we have some expressions in here. I'm gonna go full, full screen on this. So this finds the time zone coming in from cal.com and uh, and uses that time zone to give this nice, clean message of when the appointment is in the user's time zone. And then gives also gives the appointment link at, at the end there. So you don't, you can edit this to say whatever you want. I like it this way and uh, you can change, change up the name. So that it's just a nice, simple message being sent out. And when we save and te uh, hit test workflow, it should send up that same path again. And there we go, the text got sent out. So we can pop over to our, pop over to our phone here and see that message coming through. So there it is right at the bottom, confirmed. You're all set with the appointment for April 30th at 1130 AM. And then here's your meeting link. So yeah, that's what that top workflow looks like right there all the way through. And then that, if you'll notice, we didn't have to save the appointment for in Google Sheets for this first step but it comes into play later in these in these later steps down here with sending additional reminders because all we've done so far is send one reminder but oftentimes you need to send multiple reminders at different time periods to achieve maximum results of of people showing up for meetings and reduce those no shows down as few as possible so the next nodes we're going to get into are the different reminder nodes. So down here, we have several reminders at different points. Uh, but before we get into that, we're going to, we have to go through the other end of this switch node. So there are two events that this is triggered on, it's booking created and booking canceled. And if we pop over to our, if we pop over to our Google Sheet real quick, you'll see what, what that looks like. So we have a field in our Google Sheet called still on. And what we can do is trigger this to false. Or actually we can leave it true for now. And we're going to cancel that meeting that we just scheduled in, in the last, so in a, a, just a few seconds ago. So go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and hit cancel and uh, just put in any reason, canceled. Okay, and now what that does is send another event trigger to back to our N8N instance and it goes through this second logic gate that we have here so we can go we're going to unpin this data that we have pinned there 
executions and look at this latest event that has come through in our executions and we can see it traveled down that second path and let's go ahead and copy that to editor to see what happened there so our switch node triggered on the booking canceled because this event is equal to booking canceled then we found which meeting we want to cancel so it was this meeting right here with the meeting id and we can look at that the meeting id is right there so we have still on to false now and that'll become important later this last note just updates that value to false so that when someone cancels you're not going to still remind them about it and we're just going to click a save here real quick then now that we know when someone cancels a meeting we're not going to remind them about it let's see what happens when they're when they don't cancel the meeting and see how to set up these reminders down here so first down here we have a schedule trigger this is what's called a cron job and in here we have this scheduled to trigger every 30th minute so it triggers at the at the 4 30 and 5 p.m then 5 30 and 6 p.m so every 30th minute increment and then it gets the appointments gets the existing appointments from the sheet if the appointment is still on, so if still on is equal to true, it'll go ahead and go through this next logic switch gate to check what time it is. And we have different expressions in here that are set up to trigger at different points. So the first one here is 30 minutes before and that's an expression for 30 minutes. This second one here is 24 hours before, and then the third one down here is at the meeting start. So it, it triggers at the meeting start, and those are all already set up for you. Uh, so we can just hit save in here, and that that is really it for this automation. Everything's all set up, and uh, you should be all set to go. Let me know if you have any questions in the description. This, as this is part two to our to the the series of automated appointment reminders. And what's awesome about this is it functions independently of part one, which was a retail AI voice agent appointment setter. That sets appointments on cal.com, but the beauty of this appoint, appointment reminder system is that it functions independently of it. So if people click through and schedule the appointment, or if they call into that voice agent and schedule the appointment, it doesn't matter. It will trigger for both of them and send out those reminders. If you want to see that video, you can look at it right here and learn how to build a retail AI appointment setter for your business in under 30 minutes. So yeah, that was a really great tutorial. If you wanna see more stuff like this, go ahead and leave a comment in the description. Let me know what you wanna see. And as always, smash that like button, actually annihilate that like button, smash that subscribe button, and thank you so much.